Alright, in this video we're going to go talk to the suspended CSEC officer, Harklin. Uh, that chick who's calling you, Emily Wong, if you talk to her, her side quest can be completed during this part of the game. But, uh, I won't do that and I'm going to just focus mainly on the main story. Alright, I suggest you go through here and first thing you do is stop at these shopkeepers. Uh, to pick up licenses and uh, grenade and metagel upgrades because you're going to need them. Uh, so you talk to them. There's another one downstairs that you got to talk to. Alright, another option in this game was to go talk to Bar Levon up in the financial district, which is across the bridge from where uh, you c and you leave the tower Hello there. Uh, he's a volus just like the merchant we just talked to uh, he just tells you that the shadow broker wants uh, a man named Fist dead and he uh, got a Krogan mercenary named Rex to uh, kill him Oh, we're about to meet Rex in a short clip in a second here. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get anti-personnel or anti-organic weapons ready. Because you're going to be ambushed by two Turian assassins. Now, Turian assassins, the problem with them is there's two flavors. You can't really tell which one it, they are. Both well, there's the soldier and infantrator. Uh... The soldier is resistant to combat and tech, while the infiltrator is resistant to tech but doesn't have any real weaknesses. So, I suggest going with bionics if you have them, or anti-organic weaponry. Now, this guy, usually they like to make a break for that bridge I took cover on, so I don't know why he, maybe it's just because we pinned it down and I, and this is a soldier. I found that out the hard way because I tried to sneak it up behind him and shoot him in the back with a shotgun. Turns out he had one too, so I made a mistake and I should have probably used a grenade, but grenades are valuable in this game. Alright, that's the only combat in this uh, video, so the next is dialogue talking to uh, Harklin. Alright, this is Cora's Den and about to run into that clip where we meet Rex for the first time. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take and the one with the large scar across his face, that's Rex. And later on he will join you, your squad. And he's a pretty good uh, soldier because he comes out, against, he's basically a tank. Which is really good because you can set him out ahead of you and draw the enemies to him if you're a long range or weaker in combat type of guy but since I'm a soldier I don't I didn't really need Rex so I'm not going to use him that much in this guy. Alright this is Harklin. Now if you're a female he, he starts off being uh, you know sexually harassing your character and you can tell right off the bat this guy's you know slime ball or you know, dirt bag, whatever you want to call him. So, and he tries telling you some things before you, you get your answer on where Garrus is. And he tries telling you that uh, Captain Anderson used to be a specter, which is half true. And I'll let you find that out for yourself. But all right, now you can talk to him, amuse him, or you just get straight to the chase. So, like I said in the other videos, I, I'm going to draw out these conversations for those who just want to see what's going on. So, these videos are going to be longer than Beer Barons were, but... You said they covered all this up. How do you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. Alright, uh, after talking to him, you can go talk to Bar Baron Vaughn again. Or you can go straight to uh, the med clinic he's going to talk about. I went straight to the med clinic 
but she can pick up Rex. Uh, either way. But also, if you decided you didn't want to deal with Harklin, and you went only to Baravon, and you picked up Rex beforehand, uh, you can actually uh, still get Garrus because Rex will tell you about Gar where Garrus went. So either way, it's your choice. Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. And one of the things I really enjoyed about this game is how, unlike, say, Elder Scrolls, where even though it was all voice acted, you know, every voice at least sounds different to me. I, I'm pretty sure they used the same guys over and over, but at least they made them different in their own unique characters, the ones you can talk to. Now, granted, you can't talk to that many people in this game, but still. Alright, that's it for this video with me talking. The rest is just watching these guys jibber. And the next video is going to take right up in some combat. So keep your weapons upgrades that I advised earlier. So. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Go.